The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have knit together in one communion in the mystical body of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Grant us grace to follow your blessed saints in lives of faith and commitment, and to know the inexpressible joys you have prepared for those who love you. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. The book of Revelation is written to seven churches in Western Asia Minor during a time of great oppression. Today's reading is a response to the question asked in the sixth chapter to 17th verse. Who is able to stand? The writer gives the faithful the assurance of God's protection and a vision of victory. The first reading is from the seventh chapter of the book of the Revelation to John. After this, I looked, and there was a great multitude that no one could count, from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, robed in white, with palm branches in their hand. They cried out in a loud voice, saying, Salvation belongs to our God, who is seated on the throne, and to the Lamb. And all the angels stood around the throne, and around the elders and the four living creatures. And they fell on their faces before the throne and worshiped God, singing, Amen, blessings and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders addressed me, saying, Who are these robed in white? And where have they come from? I said to him, Sir, you are the one that knows. Then he said to me, These are they who have come out of the great ordeal. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. For this reason, they are before the throne of God and worship him day and night within his temple, and the one who is seated on the throne will shelter them. They will hunger no more and thirst no more. The sun will not strike them, nor any scorching heat. For the lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd, and he will guide them to springs of the water of life and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The psalm is Psalm 34. I will bless the Lord at all times. The praise of God shall ever be in my mouth. I will glory in the Lord. Let the lowly hear and rejoice. Proclaim with me the greatness of the Lord. Let us exalt God's name together. I sought the Lord who answered me and delivered me from my terrors. Look upon the Lord and be radiant and let not your faces be ashamed. I called in my affliction, and the Lord heard me and saved me from all my troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear the Lord and delivers them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. 
Happy are they who take refuge in God. Fear the Lord, you saints of the Lord, for those who fear the Lord lack nothing. The lions are in want and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord lack nothing that is good. O Lord, you redeem the life of your servants, and those who put their trust in you will not be punished. Come now, regard the works of the Lord, what desolations God has brought up on the earth. Behold, the one who makes war to cease in all the world, who breaks the bow and shatters the spear and burns the shields with fire. Be still then and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. A saint is one who has been set apart by God for God's purposes. God out of divine love sets us apart to be the children of God. Our own holy help, hope is that we shall see God as God really is. The second reading is from the third chapter of the first letter of John. See what love the Father has given us, that we should be called the children of God, and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we will be has not yet been revealed. What we do know is this, when he is revealed, we will be like him, for we will see him as he is. And all who have this hope in him purify themselves just as he is pure. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Hallelujah. They are before the throne of God, and the one who is seated on the throne will shelter them. Alleluia. The Holy Gospel according to Matthew, the fifth chapter. Glory to you, O God. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way, they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, you, O Christ. Christ. Uh, 
perhaps you will remember this uh, from, from our childhood. This is the roof. This is the steeple. You open the door, and here are the people. Um, maybe if you don't remember doing those kind of hand signs uh, along the way, perhaps you remember the old hymn. I am the church, you are the church, we are the church together. All who follow Jesus all around the world, yes, we are the church together. The church is not the building, the church is not the steeple, the church is not a resting place, the church is the people. The church is the people who God has formed. Not unlike Adam, he has formed us out of the mud, out of the muck, and out of the myrrh of human condition. In the New Testament, the word saint is not used to refer to the super-duper Christians, although we have done that through the ages. They are obviously included. But in Paul's letter to the Ephesians, as we spoke about it in Bible study, Paul's letter to the Ephesians is addressed to all of the saints in Ephesus. You must understand Saints are not saintly because of what they do, but because of what the church, through Christ, has done for them. Christian saints, as Jacobson notes, are identified not by their own wisdom. Christian saints are identified not by their good works or their holiness or their wholeness, Christian saints are identified by the fact that they belong to Jesus. The Lord be with you. And Amen. also with you. Gracious God, Heavenly Father, pour your Holy Spirit upon your people this day. Strengthen and nourish us in our sainthood that we may bear your creative, redeeming word to all of the world as the saints who have gone before us. And at last, we may be reunited with them and to share in that heavenly banquet feast that has and knows no end. For the sake of your Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, in whose name we pray, let the people of God together say, Amen. Amen. So, one, there are the saints who belong to the church militant that is, the church at work, those who are at labor, those who are simul justus et peccator, that is, at the same time, made right, justified with God through Christ Jesus, because of Christ Jesus, and yet being human, we continue in our sin. What Paul wrote in Romans 7, that no matter how much he wants to, he can't do good. No matter how much he wants to, he can't be good. Conversely, Paul says, no matter how much he hates being a jerk, he still is. Paul knows that in spite of the good, the saintly acts, the spirits can do, the spirit can do through him, he is still a slave to sin. And what went for Paul goes for all Christians. And yet all Christians are simultaneously saints because God has established a relationship with the sinner there's the difference about a Christian, the relationship that God initiates with us. It means, it means that we can admit we are sinners as we try to love our neighbors, and that God considers us holy saints 
even though we are sinners too. Simul justus et peccato. The church, the church is the assembly of forgiven sinners. That is, the saints in the church are those at work. Also, secondly, there are the saints who are in the church triumphant. That is, the church at rest. Those who we say rest from their labors, who are the saints in light. Those who have gone before us. And how we give thanks to God for giving them to us to know and to love. Those who have gone before us. Mel, Jeannie, Jackie, Lau, Janet, those who rest from their labors, who are the saints in light, those who have gone before us, whom this day we also remember. Surely, Beverly, Lloyd, Audrey, Dawn, how I give thanks to God for giving us these saints in light as we remember them and as we recall the gifts of these people of God, children of the same Heavenly Father who have given their witness, a witness of Simul Justus et Peccator and a witness of the assembly in heaven and on earth of forgiven sinners. That is the church. That is the church. Both militant and triumphant. Both on earth and in heaven. The assembly of forgiven sinners. The saints on earth celebrating with the saints of heaven as we reach out to love and save and bless all of creation as we reach out to love, forgive, and welcome all creation as the saints before us have cared for us. Now we are called to care for the needs of others, for created, redeemed, and called by God. We reach out for all, we care for all, by sharing our gifts and the unconditional love of Jesus, the saints on earth with the saints of heaven who have gone before us, that is, for all the saints. Now, I understand, for some I know, I know it will be uncomfortable thinking of oneself as a saint. Yet as a Christian, you have been chosen by God through the waters of baptism to be a herald of God's love. I, I may do that by word or by deed, or I may only show it by being a sign of how tolerant God is in putting up with me. I, I was told often by my parents to act your age. Perhaps a similar admonition for today that all of the saints, including me, perhaps we should act our sainthood. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe, we believe in, in one God, God, the Father, the Almighty, 
maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the, the only, only Son of God, God eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, we look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Longing for Christ's reign to come among us, we pray for the outgoing of God's power on the church, the world, and all in need. Lord of all saints, we praise you for evangelists and martyrs whose sacrifices witness to your gospel across time and space. Inspire us by their courage to carry our faith to new people and places around us. Hear us, O oh God, your, your mercy, mercy is great. Lord of every place, the universe proclaims your greatness from generation to generation. Bless the work of naturalists, conservatists, and park rangers who train our attention to the wonders of the world you have made for us. Hear us, O oh God, your, your mercy, mercy is great. great. Lord of every nation, guide this country, red states and blue states, rural voters and urban voters, young and old, as we share in another national election. Kindle hearts eager to understand our common needs and seek our common good. Hear us, O God, your, your mercy, mercy is, is great. great. Lord of every blessing, your son's blessing came to those living with poverty, grief, hunger, thirst, and persecution. Shape our vision of the saints to match his own. Awaken in us your call to serve all who suffer, especially Linda, Kim, Nancy, Gail, Esther, Elizabeth, Bill, Bob, Bev, Alice, Richard, Flo, Gwen, Yvonne, Meg, Susie, Diane, and all those suffering with this COVID-19 virus. Hear us now, O Lord, as we bring our prayers to you aloud or in our hearts.
Hear us, O God, your, your mercy, mercy is great. great. Let every venture, Lord of every venture, anoint us with missionary spirit of the early church. Bless all new missions of our synod. Empower testimony from new communities of faith to shape a diverse witness to your saving power. Hear us, O oh God, your, your mercy, mercy is great. great. Lord of all strength, send your guidance out to all our first responders, such as military personnel, police, firefighters, doctors, nurses, and all those who see to our needs in our time of trouble. Hear us, O God, your mercy is great. Lord of grace, send your blessings upon our bishops Eaton and Hutterer, our own dastard Pastor Daniel, and all pastors, priests, ministers, and missionaries, as they bring your word and sacraments to all your people. Hear us, O God, your, your mercy, mercy is great. great. Lord of every time, countless are the multitudes you have called by name and gathered to yourself. Comfort us as we grieve those who have died in the past year. Mel Schultz. Jean Grob. Jacqueline Gowdy. Lyle Shattuck. Janet Emery, Shirley Satrowski, Beverly French, Lloyd Hilton, Audrey Goodrich, Donald Wilson. In faith, may we join with them in ceaseless praise. Hear us, O God, your, your mercy, mercy is great. Receive our prayers in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior, until that day when you gather all creation around your throne, where you will reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And may the one who brought forth Jesus from the dead raise you to new life, fill you with hope, and turn your mourning into dancing. And Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit bless you now and forever. Amen. Beloved of God, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.